Preaching at the margins uh, primarily for me and us these 30 years or so that we've been involved in this work has a lot to do with discouraging to some degree people from spending all of their lives trying to uh, pull to be accepted by the center. There's a lot of work that folks go through trying to look right and act right and have the education and the, the things that they feel will make them more acceptable. And I've seen folks spend almost their whole lives trying to do that rather than uh, seeing the value that they really have to build and create the things that are on the margins of society. Every great thing was once marginalized. Every great thing was at one time new uh, and different and fresh. And the consequence of which is when people get together who have spent their lives on the margins and begin to employ the skills and uh, um, ingenuity and entrepreneurialism, you know, and all of that, that you learn on the margins. It's incredible what people can do. So a lot of our time is spent not essentially hating on the center, essentially, but, but really understanding that you can spin your wheels a long time trying to be accepted and ex to live a life that is acceptable by uh, the center of religion and society. And I think our best energy is used creating something on the margins that is so powerful that the center begins to look out there and say, now what are they doing? <laughs> and why are they having such a good time doing it? And how can we do some of that? I think in some ways it's the definition of reformation. So preaching uh, affirmation, affirming messages, uh, messages that lift people's self-esteem, raise their possibility thinking, um, begin to see, them, uh, see themselves as contributing to the generations following them, uh, not just living in the moment, but getting ready to leave uh, heritage, you know, uh, and getting ready to leave uh, uh, um, something, a marker on time to indicate that they have passed that way. That's, that's a lot of the work that we do.